I joined the band in July, June or July, June or July, 2009. Angel and I ran in the same circle of musicians, and I saw that one day he had posted an ad looking for a rhythm guitarist. Uh, at the time, the band had just finished tracking The Speed of Dark, and he gave me an Angel's Poem on a Grave and Acid Rain to learn. And needless to say, I had a really hard time learning the material. It was pretty difficult stuff. My favorite song is probably one because it's, to me, it's the most epic. Not necessarily the hardest song to play, but a lot of cool riffs. Um, love Angel's lead work. And it's just, to me, it's just a lot of fun. A lot of fun to jam on. <laughs> One day! <laughs> Killed it! Some of these songs are not easy to play. Some of these riffs are hard. It took me a year. It, 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 seriously, it took me about a year to be able to really play this stuff confidently. I'd say working out of the studio with him is great because like he and I are good friends so it's it's kind of loose you know we hang out together we go to the gym so it's not just all about music but when it is about music it's just it's all business no no screwing around you know we got work to do and that's that's the way it should be he knows when to he knows when to be serious and when not to be serious so I think that's that's important Angel is like a walking GNC we have a or a dancing GNC. Yeah. We really tried to use a more organic approach to how it was recorded. You know, this time we played the real amps and the drums aren't crazy overproduced. And we really just made sure to keep the integrity of the musicianship. And uh, working with Randy is great because Randy is, I mean, he he's fast. Like, he knows his shit, man. This guy's the real deal. So he sees the vision that we have for what this album should sound like, and he's helping us reach that goal. It's a lot of fun. We got along really well. Everybody in the band, everybody's really cool. Um, I'm really cool. That definitely has an effect on it all. Um, When it came to guitar leads, I'd have a few opinions here and there. I like the way Angel, you know, I mean, Angel has this cool way of how he finesses notes and how he plays into notes. And I, when he didn't, for whatever reason he might not have, I was just like, dude, give me some salt, give me some pepper, let's make lunch. About to that extent, I just, just guitar ideas, definitely on bass. I just remembered that. Um, 
I just love things that groove and whatever I can do to make that more prominent, I went for it. I wrote the whole thing. My favorite song on the record is Three. It's definitely more of a pretty song, but the melody is very memorable, very catchy. Definitely my favorite. Three words that come to mind when I hear the record? Babies, kittens, <laughs> organic food. I photographed uh, Black Market Hero live when Angel was in that. Fired! <laughs> totally going nowhere in life. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I met Angel about seven years ago when I was early to shooting live bands in portraiture and I did a lot of live projects with Angel. I met him when he was um, playing with Black Market Hero. I love Angel. We have like great energy, both of us, and we're on kind of that same level there. So when great things happen, they just get greater. And then when things happen that we're not, you know, we have to switch around, we're good at adapting to that too. So I think it's always a party. I really like that I got to see the um, recording process and observe it for Away With Words, I really uh, got an insight to the mechanics of recording. And I'm very familiar with uh, light and composition as a photographer, and I see how that mode of concentration switches over um, when dealing with notes and music in the studio. Really, really privileged to see.